how long does it take to paint a gold statue gold? We give you the answers, we break it down for you. Outspoken starts now. We cover the LGBT community. We're meeting new people. And we're talking about the issues. We're Outspoken. Hello and welcome to Outspoken. I'm your host, Tim Gaskin. And I'm Donna Sachet. We are here with the Academy of Friends, a party that's been going on for 26 years. It's the biggest party for the Academy Awards outside of Hollywood. 26 years? You're not even that old. How would you know? First up, let's check out and find out how long it takes to paint a gold statue gold. The painted golden Oscar is a signature element of the Academy of Friends Gala. About 20 of them are lined up on pedestals greeting guests as they arrive for the biggest Oscar bash outside of Hollywood itself. Makeup artist Monica Madura and a team, all performers themselves, spend about 30 minutes with each model. Joining us now, of course, are the gold statuettes from the Oscars. So how long did this take you to do? About an hour. <laughs> I was wondering, if you, are you allowed to speak? Absolutely. It, it's a night for being on camera. Maduro owns an event company that specializes in working with nonprofits and says working for cause related projects is more rewarding. She even selects her clients based on projects that she'll feel passionate about, just like the Academy of Friends. Maduro says the process of painting the models is pretty simple because she's using just one color, metallic gold. The liquid paint is applied over the entire body with sponges, including the face, hair, and, well, you can imagine. Maduro says the models help out a bit themselves. They care of any sensitive zones like around their eyes and their bathing suit area. The finishing touch, though, is the light dusting of gold powder, which helps seal the paint as well. Your body was made to be painted gold. I mean, come on, look at you. Thank you very much. It's a lot of work. Head to toe, you're beautiful. And, and Donna you. Sachet, how long did this take you? <laughs> Not as long as it's going to take me to do that. <laughs> or to get it off. One of the challenges for the models, she says, is once they're out on the floor, it's often cold, and it can be difficult to stay in one position for a long period of time. But oh, the thrill of being painted gold on Hollywood's biggest night, even with the fear of catching a cold, celebrating his Oscar, is hotter than partying like a rock star. We're here with Alan Keith, the president of the board of the Academy of Friends. How did this party ever start? Well, 26 years ago, there was a group of friends who got together in their living room and started to raise money for what we now know as AIDS. And uh, the party has just grown every year into what's now a tremendous event. 2,500 people, we hope, tonight. Wow. Are any of the original people still involved? We have several of the original people who are still involved, and we have a number, dozens of emeritus board members who continue to come year after year. Lots of money raised, right? Half a million dollars we're going to give away this year to 13 great organizations that are doing work for men, women, and children who are afflicted with HIV and AIDS. Obviously, you're here to raise money for a lot of the AIDS organizations in the Bay Area. Uh, pick out a couple of them and tell me some of the organizations you give the money to. Well, out of this year's roster of 13 beneficiary organizations, we're giving money to the Black Coalition on AIDS, uh, the Larkin Street Youth Project, also the Stonewall Project. So it's quite a diverse range of beneficiaries that we're going to be helping out this year. Well, over the many years, you, 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 cho you pick and choose different organizations each year to give. So some, what are some of the ones that have been over the years that you've supported? Uh, Catholic Charities we've supported. Uh, we've supported a number of these organizations actually numerous times. The uh, Asian Pacific Wellness Center. Um, there's quite a number of organizations that we've supported year after year. Is the need the same as it ever was, or is the need greater than it was when you first began this uh, project? No, that's the interesting thing, you know, that as people are living with AIDS, the, the cost of treatment and the cost of just the overall education, prevention work and so forth has just gone up exponentially. And this is in the face of funding cuts from the federal government and the state government. So uh, definitely the face of the disease has changed a lot. Some have criticized your organization because it's sort of felt straight over the years. But tonight, with so many awards, you know, being given out or nominated because of their gay content, do you feel like the gay has come back to the organization? Well, our roots are certainly in the gay community, and we always want to honor that. But as you know, like tonight, there are people here from all over San Francisco and all over the Bay Area, and we welcome everyone into the event tonight. But you're right, the awards this year, I think, are particularly fun 
given that we have so many uh, movies that are nominated with gay themes, and I'm sort of interested to see what the vibe is going to feel like tonight. Now, when the tents come down and all these boys, all the gold comes off, what kind of phone calls and what kind of emails do you get? What do people say to you about the event year after year when it's over? You know, the comments that we consistently get from people is just that this is a really fun event. I mean, people put this on their calendar. They, uh, they make sure that they can attend. And I think some of the hallmarks about our event, uh, first of all, when you walk in, the, the gold models that we have here, it's a living tribute to what we're all about with this organization. And then you come in and every year, you know, we always worry about how are we going to top last year's, uh, you know, theme and decor and so forth. So we really try to just make it fresh and make it new and make it a really fun experience for everyone. A party of this size takes a lot of sponsors, and we've got one of the biggest right here. We have Mario Diaz from Wells Fargo. Why this event? You're so sweet. Wells Fargo would be remiss not being here, and we have some team members involved. I'm sure some are volunteering here tonight, but it's the big party of the Bay Area. We, I'm, I'm glad to be here myself. Oh,